Oh my goodness. It is virtual reality is here. Head Honey Housewives have gone virtual. Um, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I've been out for a while. As you know, I was in Florida this past winter, really hard to work in a tropical setting. <laughs> but um, I know I've been talking to a lot of you one on one or my executive clients, but I haven't done this podcast for a bit. And we're now entering a new era, ladies. I've always been you know, available to you to talk to you about cutting edge things in recruiting and how to you know, up your game from contingent to executive retained, yada, 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 right? But at some point, I get bored of hearing myself talk about uh, the same old things. And I really was looking for something new and interesting um, as we do our 2Q executive searches. And with all this AI and the metaverse going on, I'm gonna dabble in that. And I'm gonna train you ladies in 2022 to Q, uh, continuing from this point forward, we're still mid-April, um, in the metaverse, in virtual reality. I mean, I started using video 20 years ago before it became popular. So now that everyone's finally discovered video with Zoom ever since COVID, I think it's time for me to take the next step to what the future will be in another 10 to 20 years. So us headhunting housewives are going to start that now. So if you are unfamiliar with virtual reality or the metaverse, you probably heard how Facebook obviously is going that way. Very, very, you know, early on the technology, obviously, but there's some really cool things that we can do with it as headhunters. Um, or to be honest, any work from home woman. I mean, I've been working from home for 20 years and I'll tell you the only thing that can be a little bit of a setback, so to speak, is when you have these live calls, especially now that everyone's on Zoom video and um, you're not wanting to go get ready for it. You know, I did a funny clip the other day about this not, you want to go upstairs and put a bra on, <laughs> much less be professional for a client that wanted to quickly do a Zoom live, you know, and I had one of those days where my hair was in a messy bun and I just knew I didn't have to put on makeup and I was gonna get a lot of work done that day. You know, when we're doing our research ladies or whatever, whenever your head's down and you're really into a work mode, you're not wanting to go print the get proper often, right? And so this virtual reality is kind of a game changer because you can make your little avatar, you can be on Zoom. I know many people aren't gonna adopt this for quite many, many years, just like now LinkedIn, everyone's on LinkedIn if you're professional. But when LinkedIn got started, I remember that was also what, in the early 2000s, People were like, ah, this is, you know, stupid. Nobody wanted to put their picture on LinkedIn. The early adopters were almost made fun of because they were putting their picture on LinkedIn, which now if you don't have a picture on LinkedIn, good luck in the recruiting world getting hired. Um, if you're not on LinkedIn, like I'm telling you, ladies, my head on housewives or anyone listening to this podcast, get on LinkedIn. And so, but after that, you know, Go ahead and just dive right into the cutting edge future of AI and all this virtual technology because it's going to be a game changer. I can tell you right now, I didn't, I always like to talk and do these podcasts. I always like to hop on when I'm having to interview candidates or speak to clients, but sometimes I'm not always want to hop on a Zoom live video for whatever reason. Now with the avatar, again, not everyone's going to be getting used to this, but um, this is direction we can take it. And especially as us lady recruiters who are in the driver's seat. You know, it's one thing if you're talking to your client and you're closing a deal, you want that live interaction. But when you're talking to a ton of candidates and you have some interviews, they would be quite fascinating to see how they do in the interview when they're talking to an avatar versus you live. Um, it's not that far-fetched because many years ago, I actually was a spokesperson briefly for a company called HireVue who is still out there. And they use AI. Um, so the camera is staring at you and they ask you questions and like the red light will go to green if you answer the question. But for the poor candidate, they're just staring at that red dot on their screen versus a live person, which is always a little uncomfortable, right? So at least if you're looking in the eyes of an avatar, you know, it's a little more comfortable during the interview process. So for interviewing lots of candidates, this could be a very cool technology to use. Um, even you ladies that just want to be sourcers, not go all the way into the heavy interviewing, you know, sourcing, you're getting some quick information. So you can email a link of your avatar asking the basic questions, right, ladies? So think about using it to where you, know, you want to find out what they're, um, what they're looking to make in their next job, you know, money-wise. Again, be careful of the um, legal things you ask around money, but you can ask, you know, what their ideal income would be for the next job. You just can ask what they were making. So, you know, you can ask questions like that using this avatar um, as far as travel, how much travel they want to do per week, um, you know, where as far as uh, 
and they're, where they live if they want to relocate. Some of those basic questions, you know, that you want to get covered. Instead of just sending an email, if you do this avatar, you might get a better response. And there are so many ways I'm thinking about using this right now. Even like on LinkedIn, there's a video um, technology on LinkedIn you can do instead of this messaging. So I'm curious if this avatar would even link into that. So if you send a video message, if they see your avatar, because I bet that'll get a better response than the typical LinkedIn's. Um, probably, especially for sales, forget recruiting, right? But um, so there's so many cool avenues. This is cutting edge, edge technology. If you want to learn how I did it, because of course, all the IT, I'm not IT savvy either, but I figured out. So things have come a long way from the years, you know, back in 2000, when I had, you know, I was pregnant with Madison and installing three ISDN lines into my home and using, gosh, what was the technology back then? It was a polycom system to get the video. I can't remember what it was called to get that video going. But now within literally I had this idea early this morning and within, within an hour I had an avatar popped up and I figured out how to link it into video and how to upload that. And we can make this match up with a podcast. So all of you ladies, head honey housewives that want to learn, you can learn from me. I'll show you how to do it. So let me know. You can always reach out to me at headhuntinghousewives.com. Let me know what you think of this new avatar. I'm trying to get the hand motions to go, but that's not working. But um, I find this pretty fascinating and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So let me know what you think and I will be coming back to you all very soon. Happy hunting housewives. Bye.